I was laying down and getting some shut eye when the landlord woke me up to tell me that about, hey, what's up, y'all? I was getting some shut eye when the landlord woke me up to tell me that. And yes, it's sucking my energy. I'm like, oh, God damn it. Like, what the fuck, dude? Um, I got a, a, a Java monster already ready to go so I can jolt my energy back up and get down to it. See, one of the things that's going on, you guys, is, you know, um, by me getting this space, right? This is what I've been trying to do for the longest time. This is what I've wanted for, like, the longest time, okay? And it's allowed me to not have to rush and worry and kill myself, you know, like, like, rush myself and give myself way too much anxiety to do things on other people's time hold on had video from this person you know what i'm saying and do things on my own time you know what i'm saying um i saw something today where it was just like um are you telling the same story why are you telling the same old story you have the ability we all have the ability but you have the ability to create a new story every second of every day we all have this ability you have the ability to create a new story so what part of this old story are you still living and why and i swear to god i saw that today and it hit me like a ton of bricks and i was like yeah like i did everything i've done because i'm creating new things i'm doing new things and so it's like why get stuck in the old cycle why keep perpetuating the old stuff for what like, I'm not even engaged, involved, or invested in the old stuff. None of it. Just like I uh, posted on my uh, Instagram, my tarot Instagram page before they snatched it. At no point ever in the history of ever did I ever say I was quitting comedy to be a rapper. I never said that. That conversation never took place. But I remember when all the BS went down back in 2017, my former co-worker Matt who filmed the pilot with me. He wasn't on the official version or none of that neither, but we filmed the pilot together. I remember Matt posting about, yeah, so a comedian's about to quit it all to become a rapper. Really? Where they do that at? You know, he posted about that. And I knew he was talking about me, but I was like, I never, I'm not giving up comedy for rap. Where the fuck that come from? Right? Then there were several people, you know, that I'm cool with and people that was watching everything unfold talking to me like yo come on rappers where your bars at where your album at and i'm just like no 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 y'all don't get it i rap for fun like i i that's not what i'm trying to do yeah i always wanted to kind of do like little music projects but i was doing them i wasn't waiting on a deal a green light approval none of that i created the velvet circus that's what that was about and i released all my shit on youtube and then the shit that like I liked, I turned it into an album and sold the shit on iTunes, Amazon, and wherever you could purchase music. And I've been doing that since 2012. Where the fuck did it come from that I was trying to give up everything to become a... Oh, I know. From that person. And there's a lot of things he told people. That just, to be 100% honest, wasn't true just period it just was not true and i get it i get it the type of society that we're in america you know we we love to you know kiss everybody's ass for clout we'll believe anybody who has you know money or public esteem because why would they lie about it why would this person she obviously you know and then my lifestyle actually was pretty decent for what i had going on and um i was actually in a good place but you know um, through a few key manipulations. Well, look at her. She obviously would need the money. So she must not be telling the truth. You know what I mean? And then overall, you mix that in with, you know, the way society, like, accuses women for every fucking thing. Oh, no. See, now she did that, you know. And it's like nobody looks at the obvious. But people in Hollywood know. And there's a lot of motherfuckers that was out of money that was mad at his ass. A lot. A lot. And they have nothing to do with me. I didn't do none of that. It's not my business. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to know anything deeper. I don't. 
I don't. I block a lot of shit out on purpose. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't need to know. It's not my business. I didn't do it. I didn't agree to it. I'm. It's. It has nothing to do with me. So. So much to say, but it won't make a difference. Girl, gone. And bye. Like. And bye. And bye. Child, I've been killing these motherfucking spiders. Oh! He jumped. Get the fuck out of here. Where you go? The Caribbean, child. Oh, my God. Spiders just... I felt like... uh it wasn't as dramatic as it, but I felt like Gilligan's Island. No, um, what was that? Uh, the episode of Martin, Killian's Island. That ain't no damn puppet. Like how they they was beating up the damn critter and shit. Nothing that big or that ridiculous has happened, but just even the spider. I have a, a door here. The spider like crept through the door, and uh, when I was being shown the place, and uh, the landlord like smacked it. He's like, "It's the Caribbean. What you gonna do?" And, like, you know, ain't nobody, ain't no spiders or nothing been in here the whole time. I took a nap. I woke up. A spider, like, had got to the ceiling. I was like, how the fuck he getting to the ceiling? I had to get on the chair, start whacking away at the spider. The shit was ridiculous. It was really stupid. Okay, so, anyway. Yeah, bitch, I'm listening outside the door. I'm also watching the live right now. You stu- Like, this is the voicemail I'm getting. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, don't clear the screen now. Mind you, I had this phone number changed. And that 323 number that I was advertising on my other channel, like when I was trying to create the the fan page, the fan club, I threw that number away. Like, um, it's, I don't even respond to it. It's not attached to any of my lines. And, um... I'm going to change this number as well as soon as some other things happen. I'm over it. Now nobody gonna be able, nobody's going to have my number because they don't know how to act. So, not my problem. Anyway, uh, what the hell? Boo. Oh, yeah, I bought coffee. I, I posted it in my stories. I got the whole thing. And I bought hot chocolate because I make my coffee a little special. I already know what I'm finna do um, as far as bartending. I ain't even finna look for another bartending job. I'ma just bring my bartending to y'all and make videos and other content. And for people that enjoy good drinks and people that want little liquor tricks, y'all can subscribe to the content. That's that's the new step. That's the that's the new wave that I'm on. Um, I, uh, that was another thing. I, uh, I was, there was another bar that I had applied to before I got the job at the place I ended up working. And, you know, I can tell when people are jerking me around, but you know, there's a way to say and do everything. And so I just kind of, you know, played it, played it low to see what they wanted to do. But I even like low key kind of heard them whispering around when they answered the phone. And I was just like, is that really necessary? Just tell me you don't want to hire me, you know, but they know that there's lawsuits involved, so they have to say things a certain way so I won't have a case. Well, they discriminated against me because I'm black or, you know, whatever. There's ways to say things and do things. And so I just let, let them know. And they're like, I don't think we have anything to offer you. But less than three days ago, I was a great candidate. Oh, how things change. Mm, less than three days ago. So I was just like, oh, no problem. Well, I'm changing this number. And so I just want to follow up one more time because... I asked you when you would be making decisions on when you wanted to hire someone and, you know, whatever. So I didn't hear anything, wanted to hear back, just so I know if this is still an option for me. And, you know, since y'all don't have anything, I'm just going to go ahead and change this number. So, because y'all don't need it. But uh, I can use my email. And if you have something or, you know, something opens up that you think I'll be a good fit for, you can email me. And I'm not telling y'all the name of that place name. Um... I've been very good on protecting the integrity of places. I really wish people would give me the same respect, but you know, tomato, tomato. There's ways to do everything. I'm going to let y'all go. Um, I'm getting more selfish with my time and energy simply because I should have been more selfish with my time and energy previously. Um, it's nobody's fault. 
I take all responsibility and accountability for everything that I, all the energy, all the things that I lent out, all the ways that I tried to be kind and got taken advantage of, all that shit. Um, here you go. See, that's how I know it's her. She's crazy. You you were fired. Da 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 da. You're not going to trash the I trash the island. What? Trash the island. Why would I want to trash the island? How the hell? What? 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 This is insanity. This is mental illness right here. Trash the island. Bitch, if I do anything to decide that I'd upgrade this motherfucker. Some of you motherfuckers are so backwards, but that's beyond the point. Um, but overall, the energy is actually pretty decent. Like, people here be pretty cool. I still stick to the same thing I said in the beginning when I first got here. There's an energy here. There's a vibe here that that I've been looking for. And it's, it's real chill. And it's real cool. And I love it. And that's what the majority of the vibe is. Like, this person, this is one weirdo compared to whatever the hell the population is on this island. And yeah, one weirdo can stir up a group and an angry mob or whatever, but eh, as you can see, mm-hmm. one monkey don't stop no show. All right? Um, yeah, I really wanted the vibe to be a little different, but it is what it is. Like, I'm, I'm, I have to make sure that I feel good. And I have to make sure that I have energy for me to do the things I want to do. Dude, the physical routine of what I did today was tripped the hell out. I did a, I got a monster workout in today, y'all. Um, and then I stripped back down to my bikini. <laughs> um, I had on like the blue jacket and the, uh, the stretch pants that I got hanging up now. I'm talking about leg work, arm work, I mean, lifting, all that. Just the only thing I need to do, I need to get me a yoga mat so I can start working on my stomach muscles, start, you know, getting some Pilates going. But, yo, today, physically, like, it was intense. I know I burned hella calories. And it makes me feel good that I had Subway earlier and, like, you know, lots of vegetables in my sandwich and no BS. And I had wheat, and wheat has fiber. Fiber burns belly fat. Look, I was getting it in today. And I did a very light dinner. I just, you know, had a few, um, you know, just like, you know, like a little, little light, little snack. I didn't even do a dinner dinner because actually I was quite full and I, uh, I was juicing today and the juice did enough. Like I didn't really need, I was going to go get like some chili or something and I was just like but I'm not really that hungry I was like let me eat a few of these Pringles I bought and call it a day and then I had another juice and I was like eh yeah I was like I can make something over here I'm like I was gonna go get me another I was either gonna get some chili cause I had a taste of chili I was gonna get another barbecue burger I had that yesterday or I was gonna get uh another uh combo meal i was gonna do the shrimp combo meal i was gonna do one of the three that's what i was feeling and i just was like so full and i'm still kind of full i'm like eh. yeah it'd be good to get it and because i have like microwave and stuff you know i could have it and then i'll have something for tomorrow but it's like eh, i might as well get it first tomorrow then like eh. you know um all in all, I'm welcoming all of these changes and the things that's happening because I needed this. Um, so you look at this. You lying, fat hair, diabetes, lipedema, bitch, you a fire. I don't have diabetes. My glucose level is perfect. I don't have lipedema either. Uh, we're reporting everything to the police. I already called 911 on you and I screenshotted everything. I might as well screenshot these. Because this is going in my report. There's just a way to do everything. And now that I screenshotted this and it has today's date on it. Now I have, I'm creating an entire, yeah, that was smart. Anyway, I love y'all around the fam. Thank y'all for being a part of this journey. There's more to come, but you know, let's have some compassion, some humanity, all of that. 
um, I've been putting up with a lot of fucking trauma and abuse behind the scenes. And recently, I've just been like, no. <laughs> I don't care how it makes me look. I don't care what people think. No. There's only one me, and if I have a panic attack, then what? There's only one me. If I have an aneurysm because shit can't, then what? Ain't nobody gonna be doing shit or saying shit, but oh, that was a shame. That was it. You know, like, man, fuck all that. You get one life, you gotta take care of yourself. And with that one life, do things that bring you joy and, and enjoyment and laughter and fun and all of that. Y'all can even see, look, let me tell you how crazy this workout was, though. Y'all saw how slick down my hair was in the last live. Gone. I'll go. Like, oh my God. It was so good. I, I sweated all of this out. It still smells good. It still smells like uh, whatever that ingredient is in the edge control cream. But look, all gone. All gone. How it was like slick to perfection. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I sweated all that out. I was like, oh, oh. I sweat. It's gone. Do you hear me? Gone. Let's put my hair wrap back on. Hold on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I sweated it all out, y'all. It was so crazy. <laughs> I had to... Oh, my God. I had to, like, process that. Because I was, like, I was so tired. Um... I mean, and if you see the view or whatever, you can tell I'm on a hill, you know, and it's steep. Like, there's all kind of, I was just like, oh, my God. Uh, like, and then I was lifting and carrying, and I was just like, no, nah, come on. We got it. We got it. And I, 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 I uh, increased speed. I was like, no, nah, I got this. I got this. Man, I was sweating. It was, it was it, in an awesome way, though, I, you know, because it's, it's, that type of activity is great for your body. And I got to the top, and I was like oh shit I need a nap like that's so crazy I was like and I, I was telling somebody about it in my DMs I was like dude I, I'm getting old I, 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 oh my god like it, you, like you be thinking no I got this I'm, I'm mad I'm durable I'm yeah I <laughs> I got here and I was like huh, huh, huh. <laughs> dude I had to put everything down <laughs> and like just let the girls be sit there for a second and just stare at the motherfuckers I was like I need five minutes <laughs> and then I started putting it away all slow dude that is like the slowest I've moved in like ages I just was like <sighs> put everything away <sighs> I put everything away I stared at it I was like Oh, cool. I have, like, you know, supply or whatever. Took my little picture. My phone battery, one of the phones was on, like, I think this one was, like, on 30 because I was listening to it, using it as an iPod. And this one um, was at, oh, no, this one was fully charged because I was charging it with a portable charger while I was using this phone. So this one was pretty much fully charged. But, you know, like I told y'all, that iPhone um, update thing kept showing up. And I was like, okay, well... Let me let that happen. I'm going to take this down. Soon as I set my alarm, soon as I set my alarm, that's when the harassing text messages first started. And that lets me further know that, you know, okay, yeah, that's right. I know that they watch watching my activity because they don't have shit to do. All that was going on. And then I, like, was setting the alarm. Like, okay, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to have a monster, and I'm going to get started. I'm going to wake up. I'm gonna ha- I, that's what I kept telling myself for, like, the last hour because now where we get. Oh, shit, longer than that. It's 1030. I ain't going to look at that. The point is, everything I've been doing has been very necessary. And I'm just at such a good place right now with myself, with everything, that it's like, if I cannot physically do it, I am not going to stress about it anymore. People can go ahead and draw whatever conclusions they need to in order for them to sleep at night. Whatever they need to say to make themselves feel better. Whatever they need to think about me so they can feel right. And no, because I, you know, I, I specialize in this and I know that whatever y'all need, do it. But what I'm not going to do is continue to discount my energy and discount what I know to be true. To, for what? What? To, to further stress myself out? To have unneeded, unnecessary anxiety? To play, to, you know what I mean? Play Kate and please people who don't give a fuck? 
you know yeah there's some people that's like man we want to see this this and that and i get it and i got y'all in mind and y'all the people i don't want to let down because i appreciate y'all fucking with me but you do need to know the real truth not the fake truth there's a lot going on behind the scenes and you can disregard it or act like i'm making it up because i'm bored like that but I would hate for other things to happen and for things to escalate. If you'd be like, damn, she was telling the truth. Yeah, you, you don't think? Like, the fuck? So anyway, I said all that to say, I love y'all. Um, and I'm, I'm trying. Look, I'm not even joking. I'm still trying to get my energy back up to just do it. And bringing this live all the way to the top was so beautiful about having my own space. Dude, I rented it out. Okay. So, oh my God, if I don't get my energy back in the next hour or two hours, it's not the end of the world. If I decide to wake up at 3 a.m. and knock it out, it's going to be done. You know what I'm saying? Whenever it feels right, I'm going to do it. Y'all go, if you subscribe to my channel, you're going to get the YouTube notifications. Okay? Once it's released, it's released. It's out. I completed it. I can move on and think about something else. Another reason why I... um invested in all the things I invested today and went ahead and just got everything and filled the shopping cart up because now I don't have to when I wake up tomorrow and I don't have to worry about oh I gotta run to the store and grit you know those little especially because <laughs> of the physical activity <laughs> listen people can think whatever behind the scenes I'm very proud of myself today even earlier today I was like I have a feeling that, especially once I found out where it was, I was like, I have a feeling that I'm going to, I'm not going to look at this and go, I don't need this place. I don't want this place. I was like, so let me do everything I need to do as if we doing the lease agreement and all that today, right now. I was like, let me go to the bank. Let me do this. Let me do, let me do the things I need to do so I don't get all the way there and be like, damn, now I got to do this, this, this. I knew it. I had a feeling. I was like. And it worked in my favor because the place I ended up going, they closed at 3. I didn't know that. And so you will be doing things that you could need to do thinking you got a lot of time. You know what I mean? Thinking you could do it later. I would have been SOL if I didn't do it then. And I'm glad I did it then because they would have been closed. And they weren't. And y'all see I'm here. You see what I'm saying? Even when I was like, and then once I was here, I was like, okay, I could just start making videos. But... No, I need this, 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 and this in order to be comfortable. And I need this, 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 and this. And there are plenty of stores around. They're open. I just got to, while I have the energy and momentum, knock this out now. And I did. And then while I was in the store, I was even like, I was doing what I had been doing. You know what I mean? What I trained and conditioned myself to do, you know. For, since I've been here and also like back in LA okay I'm gonna get what I need today because I'm carrying all my stuff I got to put everything in my bag I'm gonna get what I need today I'm gonna get what I need today and I am not in that I don't have to be that way oh my goodness I can it doesn't all have to happen today I don't have to carry everything around with me oh my gosh I can get it and put it away and it's there for when I need it oh my gosh I can calm down a little bit child is awesome and I ain't trading this feeling for the world <laughs> so uh, love y'all turn on my notifications cause I'm, I'm not I'm dead ass the minute I feel it I'm just gonna get into it I ain't making no I'm gonna just get it and then I'm gonna let y'all know I put it out and because of what happened to my Instagram page um, that's that Scorpio uh, reading the transformation that I did yesterday at the hotel um, which I still haven't told anybody what that hotel was I thought about tagging that location and I was just like no because I liked it and I might go back there you know I liked it it was a great experience and I needed it and it, it solved the purpose for what it was and it was it was awesome and I'm I'm good I don't I'm having peace in my life and I want to keep the peace so uh, love y'all. Uh, that's all I got. I guess I'll save this live temporarily. No, I'll save this live. And, you know, when I don't need it no more, I'll just take the preview down. Okay. Bye.